Are men okay? So I spend too much time on TikTok, and from what I've gathered from my feed is that men do not like women. Men hate their wives, they hate being married, they resent their wives for making them marry them, even though, like, no one was holding a gun to your head, dude. Now, it's not all men, obviously, but let's look at two examples that I've seen on TikTok of men just clearly hating their wives. And you tell me, are men okay? So this first one, I think, came from last Christmas. It's of this guy filming, like, Christmas morning, kids are opening presents, everything's all decorated, it's all nice and fun, even the dog's got a stocking. And then we get to mom. Is this an extra one? No, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it empty? I don't know. Santa didn't come for me. So mom got nothing for Christmas is what I'm hearing. They actually did a skit like about this on SNL like a long time ago uh, with uh, Kristen Wiig talking about how like, you know, all the kids got all this stuff and dad got presents and stuff and all mom gets is a robe. Let's open up our stockings. Mine has a set of travel games. And mine is stuffed with candy canes. Mine has a bottle of nice cologne. And mine is completely empty. Because mom is literally an afterthought. Mom makes Christmas happen, but she's herself is an afterthought. Nobody thinks to get mom presents. But that was a joke on SNL, but it's like a joke that's like speaking to a reality that we all low-key know is true. Now, it wasn't that way when I was growing up. My dad bought my mom things. He made sure that she had stuff to open on Christmas. But I guess not all men are like that. Look at how this woman talks in the video. Look at how she looks. She is clearly so disappointed. She's watching everyone else have fun, and she's sitting over there with nothing. She's all by herself. She has nothing to open. Even the damn dog got a stocking. Golden got a stocking. And the dude filming this is laughing. Like, he knows. He knows what he did, or rather, what he didn't do. Because it's obviously it's not on the kids to get mom presents. They're like four and five years old. It's on dad. Dad needs to get mom something, anything. Like, it, it's it's freaking Christmas. Now I can understand if like they were in some kind of financial situation where they had to like, you know, save like all the all the Christmas money to buy the kids presents and they just said, no, no, you and me, we, we won't get each other anything. It's We'll give everything to the kids. But clearly they live in a nice house. It's decorated nicely. Everybody got so much stuff. The dad got stuff. So clearly they are not in any financial trouble. Dad could have gotten mother something. He just didn't because he doesn't care and he thinks it's funny how sad she is on Christmas morning when she has nothing to open. He's giggling as he's filming her. He's making joy out of her sadness. How, how fucked up is that? <laughs> Why is it empty? I don't know. The term weaponized incompetence gets thrown around a lot, like, you know, men saying like, oh, I don't know how to do laundry, you have to do it for me, honey. I don't know how to load a dishwasher, you have to do it for me. But this is not weaponized incompetence. This is not, you know, like a dude who was like, oh shoot, I didn't even, like, I forgot to get my wife something for Christmas, I'm such a bonehead. Like, no, this man knew what he did, and he's laughing about it. He thinks it's funny. He thinks it's funny that mom feels excluded. She probably decorated the whole house herself and went out and bought all the kids presents and wrapped them all herself, I'm, I'm assuming, because men like this generally don't help with that kind of thing. And probably after they opened presents, she had to go and cook breakfast for the kids. The dog had a stocking. The dog. She got bupkis. Are you kidding me? I hope for this Christmas, he got a divorce. Example number two, the canned pumpkin guy. It basically is this guy who his wife sent him to the store because she was making some kind of pumpkin dessert, pumpkin bars. Uh, she sent him the ingredient list, but he noticed that the main ingredient on the list, canned pumpkin, was not on there. And instead of just doing what a normal person would do, picking up some canned pumpkin, he's like, I'm gonna call my wife to make sure we have any canned pumpkin. And she didn't pick up. He called her a few times, she didn't pick up. Maybe she was busy, maybe her phone was off, who knows. Anyway, he calls her, she doesn't pick up, and he's like, well then I'm just not gonna buy it. And so he gets the groceries and he, you know, starts going home. And then on the way, she calls him, she's like, oh, I forgot to put canned pumpkin on the list. And he's all like, well, sorry, I'm already on the way home. I'm not turning around. I called you twice. 
That was with purpose. You think I'm calling to chit chat? Hey, haven't talked to you since breakfast. What's up? No. Now my wife is mad at me because she has to go to the store herself. Marriage. Now this is like a typical couple squabble and like, yes, he's being like normal amounts of husband petty, which it's sad that that is a thing. Normal amounts of petty. Like men should be petty with their partners. Like anyone should be petty with their partners. Like you should want to help your partner. But it's like he wanted to teach her some kind of lesson, you know? And then he went home and he filmed a whole entire TikTok about it. About this, you know, screw up on his wife's part. Like, well, I guess next time she'll know better than to leave canned pumpkin on the list. And next time she'll know better than to not answer when I'm calling her. Sir, this was about humbling your wife. This was about making her feel like an idiot just because you were too lazy to turn around and go back for some damn canned pumpkin. In the video, he's like, well, I don't want to waste money on something that's only going to be used once a year and is going to go bad. But if we already have it, it's going to sit on the shelf for a year. You only use it at Thanksgiving. First of all, we all know canned products last like several years. I have canned pumpkin in my pantry from last year that is still perfectly good and that I'm going to use this year when I bake my, you know, family their usual baked goods for their Christmas presents. Secondly, a TikToker who, uh, who I follow, her name is Shonda, she's like really funny and really insightful, she did like a Google search to show that canned pumpkin is like 122 a can. It's nothing. It's it, like, you're worried about $6 for, like, a few cans of canned pumpkin? Sir, if $6 is, a, is an issue, is a waste of money to you, you have bigger problems than pumpkin bars. You need to, like, sell your house and move into a smaller place. You need to, like, do something. You have financial issues. Or is $6 not that big a deal and you just are making up excuses because you didn't want to go back for the canned pumpkin? Just listen to the guy in the in the video. He sounds so f***ing smug and insufferable. I can't believe he managed to trick anyone into marrying him. What a pretentious asshole. Listen, I hate it too when I go to the grocery store and I get all the stuff I need and I get, you know, my groceries and I get back in the car and I'm on my way home and then I'm like, oh, I forgot the thing and I have to turn around and go back if it's something I really need, which it sounds like this canned pumpkin was, because I would assume canned pumpkin is the key ingredient in pumpkin bars. I know, it's annoying, but like, just, just f***ing do it. Just f***ing do it. This is a part of adult life, my man, like forgetting to do something and then having to go back. Or here's a thought. Get the f***ing canned pumpkin in the first place. Again, $6 is not that big a deal. It's just that, you know, it's her mistake and you want to be able to hold it over her head. So that's why you're making such a big deal about it. Why do men take small, like, not even issues, non-issues, and make them into problems? I don't understand this. It's like they want a reason to be able to fight with their wives. This is like the guy who was like so weird about the toilet seat. Like the wife asked him, hey man, you keep leaving the toilet seat up. Uh, I keep falling into the toilet. Can you please just close the lid when you're done? And he'd be like, well, why can't you just, why can't you just raise the lid? Why can't you just look before you sit? And she was like, well, you know, it's just, it's common courtesy. Like when you lift the toilet seat to put it back down. And he's like, well, I already have to pick it up and then I have to put it back down. That's two actions and you don't have to do any actions. That's not fair. What kind of transactional Machiavellian bullshit is this? Why are you taking stock in how many times you have to raise or lower the toilet seat? What kind of micromanager keeps track of that? If you all don't like your wives, leave them. Don't get married to them in the first place. Except I know why you don't. I know why you choose to stay and make her miserable because in your f***ed up warped little brains, you actually do enjoy having her around. There are benefits to having a woman in your house. She does all the chores. She takes care of the children. She makes the food. Y'all like having a, a maid and a, and a mom to be around to do all the stuff that you don't want to do because women will take the initiative whereas men who have been pampered by their mommies their whole lives don't do that so you keep the woman in this unhappy relationship you essentially trap her and then you make her life miserable and you post shit like this online to humiliate her because you resent her for the relationship that you are keeping her trapped in i don't hate men i really don't some of y'all are are lovely human beings some of y'all are Assholes, get it together. 
that's it. That's my short little unscripted rant. If you liked that, you can subscribe, uh, like, comment, follow me on social media, become a patron. I don't know. I don't- I don't know anymore. <laughs> Bye.